because we want more people to understand that when you have weak signals, you don't use a phone unless it's really an emergency because this phone is going to work harder. When you're in a fast-moving car, bus, or train, you only use a phone when it's connected to the Bluetooth in the car because otherwise you're just like putting yourself in a microwave oven. When you give something to a child, you must put it on airplane mode. Now, California, as I said, went through 27 drafts, 144 pages since 2009, and industry weakened and watered down the advice. But he, what was missing, which again, this will be on our website, is that a cordless phone is also a wireless phone. Don't have a cordless phone base station next to the head of your bed. Um, there was other advice that was missing as well. CDC briefly had information on its website. In 2011, when the International Agency classified, classified cell phone radiation as a possible carcinogen, did anybody here hear that in 2011? Anybody? Okay, one person, two people. The reason most of you did not hear this is because it was suppressed. And we found this out, we have, under Freedom of Information Act, we have now posted all of this on our website, what the CDC had to go through to try to get this information out to the public that the World Health Organization had issued. Now my book documents the war games that have gone on. There are 20-year-old government limits that are not protective. But I want you to think about this. Bill Gates didn't let his kids have mobile phones until they turned 14. Steve Jobs didn't let his kids use iPads. How about that? Telstra, this is a safety message. If you live in Australia, this is the safety message you get on your mobile phone as a text message. Is that amazing? That's the exact message you get. It's telling you how to use the phone more safely. Why don't we get that in America? What we have in America are companies that are self-insured for liability. That's what we have. They're self-insured. And they report to their stockholders, this is what they say, our business faces personal injury and consumer action lawsuits related to alleged health effects. They are telling people who own the stock. Well, Harvard issued this report. The FCC is a captured agency showing the effects on science and scientists of sponsored research. And if you want to get your research funded, show that cell phones are safe. There are exclusions for insurance from Lloyds of London and Swiss Re. They will not cover health damages. And this, by the way, is since 1997. They talk about it, at, like with this cover, on. 2011 on a white paper as the next asbestos for the insurance industry. That's what they've been saying since 1997. This is a 2011 report. And Australia has an organization of ethical investors. They won't touch this stock. There's an international scientist appeal that I'm a part of led by uh, Joel Moskowitz of Berkeley and others, that seeks action from global health agencies on this issue, arguing that the weight of evidence, the weight of evidence in the peer-reviewed literature shows greater precautionary measures should be taken to eliminate exposure. That's what we're asking for. Should we have to prove that you're already sick from this in order to take steps to reduce your exposure? That's what we're being asked to do. That's why the debate is about whether we have an epidemic of brain cancer now. And all the experimental studies that I showed you, and believe me, there are many more, are being discounted. And people are saying, well, you know, it's just a little bit anyhow. It doesn't really matter. And it's so terribly convenient. Yes, it's convenient. But you know, it wouldn't be that much difficult if it took you five minutes to download a movie. You can still download your movie and then put it on airplane mode. Streaming is, of course, the highest exposures you're going to get, is with streaming. The Alexa and all those assistants, you know, that are, they don't really work that well, as I think everybody's finding out. But they show these cute ads of five-year-olds. Oh, 
singing songs to Alexa. Guess what? Those devices are all tested eight inches away from this big guy body and they're not for little kids to hold and, and caress. They're not. So in the USA, I'm proud to say we have some policies at the state level that are developing. In Maryland, thanks to the excellent work of our executive director, Theodore Scarada, the State Children's Environmental Health Advisory Council has issued an extensive report recommending using wired devices in classrooms. Wired, not wireless. Or at least downloading rather than going to the wireless. Right now in Massachusetts, there are seven different bills pending. Seven different bills pending. And I think New York should be next for various approaches to reducing it. But that's going to take you guys, not me. And I'll help because our website is full of information about legislation that has been adopted at the state level. In Connecticut, in 2015, we worked with people there and we gave them the data and their experts issued this report. Of course, Yale University influenced it greatly because Yale University sponsored a report uh, saying this was a good idea. These are some of the policies that have been taken internationally. And our website is full of examples of these that you can easily propose and adopt.